Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're talking about a very controversial thing, especially in my comment section, but just in the internet altogether about the VA generation WRX and STI. That, the VA generation, means the 15 to 21 WRX and STI. Obviously the new gen of the WRX is the 2022+. Plus. We're talking about the VA generation for some reason, and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna have a discussion, don't worry. But I'm going to just say it now. For some reason, people think that that generation of WRX and STI, although I love the car, is going to appreciate or gain value and become a collector's car in years to come. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why that's not the case and that the price is definitely going to drop on those cars like almost every other car in the market and that you shouldn't hold on to it or spend extra money because you think it's going to be an appreciating asset. Now, on this channel, I always preach that cars are investments and they can be investments. And I'm telling you now, this is not the way to invest your money or to recklessly spend more than you need to because you think the car is going to appreciate over time. What's happening in the market right now and the values of these cars going up is an anomaly. The supply chain, COVID, everything that's going on is something that will eventually be corrected. It might take some time, but whenever it does get corrected, car values are going to plummet. I'm not talking about 10%, 20%. We're gonna see used car prices go down like crazy, right? It's it's inevitable. It's gonna go back to the way the market was before. And if we look at what cars are being, you know, listed at now, they're in in certain cars are up over a hundred percent of their value on the used market. So we're gonna see massive reductions in price. But we're gonna talk about all those things and all the arguments people are making and why I don't think they're true. And don't take this as like like the law, but this is from somebody that has studied the automotive market is relatively educated in both engineering and finance, and uh, we're just gonna have an open discussion here. Before we get too far into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider it. My YouTube statistics analytics tell me that only like 3% of you guys that are watching are subscribed, so if you would all enjoy the content, I'd love a like on the video, but I'd also please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps this channel grow. It helps me bring content to you guys. Okay, so I've had some, I've had some crazy, uh, we'll call them arguments because I've gotten pretty frustrated uh, in my comment sections and I hate to get frustrated in the comment sections, but there are so many people out there that are preaching and telling people that aren't as educated in financial decisions and financial investments that the VA generation of the WRX and STI is going to appreciate over time and that two, three, four, 10, 20 years from now, it's going to do blank percent increase in price. I will go as far as saying I've seen comments with pretty long conversations behind them and people being like, oh, that's great advice. Like saying that the STIs are going to double and triple in value 10 years from now because they're gonna be a collector's item and blah, 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 this isn't true. This is just, the reality isn't true. A lot of people are saying, look at the Supra. Well, the Supra is unique, and we're not gonna to talk too much into it, but we're gonna talk about like Too Fast, Too Furious, you know, the media input, them curtailing the generation of Supra, the limited production, and the fact that the 2JZ was in it. It's a combination of massive media pull, the start of a car community for our generation, and an engine that can take 1,000 horsepower. Well, 700 to 1,000 horsepower, depending on what you do to it. But the STI and the WRX possess none of those things. And the reality is, is the Super was so low production and it got so much hype because it got canceled. And at the time, it was one of the few cars that fit the market. Well, right now that we're looking at a market where even family sedans produce the same performance numbers as the WRX and the STI, but beyond that, there is a massive volume of them produced every year, so the markets are always flooded. There are literally 30 to 40,000 new of these in the United States every year. That's a ridiculous volume of cars. Under no circumstance are these gonna be collector's items, unless 90% of the volume, uh, yeah, nine out of 10 cars, or nine out of 10 WRX and STIs just disappear, then maybe. Now people are also saying, well, okay, not the Supra, look at the Evo market. My comment is the same. Look at the volume of production and what people can do in the aftermarket. Now the Evo does take a step forward to higher horsepower builds. Whether you're a Subaru or Evo person, you know, Mitsubishi or Subaru, WRX or STI or Evo, everyone can agree that it's cheaper to make larger sums of power on the Evo platform. Reliability is crap. But same with the W, I mean, the EJ isn't great. The Mitsubishi engine isn't great. Historically, we've seen higher horsepower Evo builds, not as reliable, not as fun in my opinion. I much prefer the Subaru platform. I'm definitely a Subaru fan person. That being said, the Evo also had much lower production and we're not seeing crazy price increases. We're just seeing certain models that have been well kept in that tuning community 
that is getting smaller and smaller every year as new cars come out appreciate. So yes, there are some Evos out there that are worth as much as they were new or maybe even a little bit more if they were well kept for, but that's just because there aren't so many on the market. You can't go everywhere and get it. And that all comes down to production and what's left on the market. And again, there are so many WRXs and STIs and the market they're owning, they're just not unique. So look, I don't have to make this video a long video. It's basic understanding of markets and what gives an asset value. And that's actually a really complicated statement. But I guess what I'm saying here is when you combine the, it's not a very special platform for what it's competing against. And I'm saying this as somebody that loves it. Tuned with, it's like one of the highest volume sports cars on the market today. And there's just been globally released hundreds of thousands of units. I think it's hundreds of thousands of units at this point of the VA generation. If you do a global tally between the WRX and STI, it's, we're not, it's just not gonna happen. These things are not gonna be investments. And even furthermore, in the short term, you're gonna see a massive reduction in price. Even those cars like the Supra and the Evo, the Evo is a terrible, let's just talk about the Supra because it's an actual example. The 10 years following the Supra's demise, it didn't have these crazy values. We're talking about these crazy values far, far later. You know what I mean? Like it's 2022 and people are paying high prices for 1993 Supras, 1991 Supras. So as long as you're willing to lose a lot of your money and take a huge risk that 30 years later, 25 years later, it comes back and makes you money, fine, do that. YOLO your money, see what sticks on the wall when you throw it. You guys know the saying that I'm going for there. We know that your money is gonna better do you right growing in the stock market and real estate and, and any other thing. I guess what I'm just saying is don't take a, don't pay absorbent amounts of money thinking this car is gonna make you money. Don't look at what's happening with the market now and being like, I'm gonna capitalize and make some money if I buy a car, if I spend $50,000 on an STI right now, you're gonna lose money. Three years from now, you're gonna wanna shoot yourself in the foot because you're like, wow, I just lost all my money. So the last thing I said, I wanted to address it because crazy things are happening in the comment section of these of the comment sections of these videos and on all the Facebook groups. And I don't understand why people aren't speaking up and just saying, guys, this is the dumbest, you know, the dumbest conversation ever. And the people that are like, I'm gonna like 3X my money have no idea what they're talking about. And maybe they do, and they've got a fleet of brand new STIs. Like they have like 30 2021 STIs with zero miles sitting in a warehouse that are gonna sit there for 25 years. Maybe that person, there is a chance that person might double their money. Small chance, you know, we're talking like lottery. But the reality is if you put the same amount of money in the stock market, you wouldn't just double your money. You'd be like at 7X if you track the S&P 500 over the last like, 25 years or whatever you want to start. You guys, you guys see where I'm going. Have a great day, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you don't YOLO your money into investment that just doesn't make sense right now.